Chelmsford nil, Barnet won into the second round of the FA Cup. Dean, what are your thoughts on that? Drama, always drama. I wasn't happy with our performance first half. Looked like we were still on the coach coming back from Oldham a little bit and obviously decided to make a change, bring Woodsy on. I thought he did a great job. We got on the front foot, had some really good chances to start the second half. And then obviously a big scenario changes the game. Um, and for me, look, it is a foul, but for me it's a yellow card. I'm right in front of it. But at the end of the day, from the referee's angle, he must think it's a, it's a red card. And I think he should give himself more time to think about it. And I personally believe Adrian is one of the best referees around. Um, he's very approachable, you'll always talk to him, but I think he should have spoke to Aaron as fourth official because he had the same angle as me and he, and he decided not to do that. But the character we showed, the guts, the courage, you know, from the red card we had an unbelievable chance. Great play by Ryan de Havilland and then he stick, slipped in Nicky Cabamba and their goalie's made a great save. He's made a few good saves the second half and if I'm being honest, over the two games he's been unbelievable, their goalkeeper. So, And full credit to Chelmsford, so they come back at us at the end. Obviously, we've got a goal, and just before that, they come back at the end and they had two great chances themselves where they didn't take them, and that's the little bit of luck you need in the cup. So, I'm delighted. We'll take it back to even before the game started. You made a change to play four at the back today. What was your thinking behind that? I just felt we could, we could overload them in wide areas. Um, we were meant to play three up front. That's what I was saying to the lads at half time. We played 4 5 1. Keen didn't know his role well enough. We went through it yesterday. Idris was a constant threat, and obviously we needed more support to Nicky, and we felt their fullbacks could run off their their sort of wide forwards. Um, and in midfield, I think you know we got Gorman and Pritchard who could supply the wide areas. And a big thing for me when you play against teams like Chelmsford who retreat back into the goal and try playing the counter attack, you've got to go around the outsides of them. And uh, we kept deciding to go through the middle of them, so I was very frustrated. And uh, very rarely do I make a sub at half time. It's it's not something I like to do, but I think I had to do it. I was going to say it was quite an even, even first half and you made the change at half. What did you say to them in the dressing room to get them fired up for the second half? I just felt that we had to go around the outside to move the ball better. Um, I say Keem was in the wrong position. I, I was always aware of Ruff, the kids, he's like a Lampard type player. He goes into the box and if a ball falls his way he's a good finisher. So we decided to put Woodsy on him and, uh, and sort of man mark him in a way. And I thought he did, a, he did brilliant Woodsy when he came on, obviously apart from the scenario for the red card. So, yeah, um, I just felt we could pass it slicker, move it quicker, play forward quicker, run forward quicker. And uh, I think we did that second half. You brought Woods on at half-time. He lasted 19 minutes. What did you see of the, the red card? Yeah, it was right in front of me. It's never been a red card in his life. If we've got good coverage, we will 100% appealing it. Um, it's a good, strong challenge. He doesn't. He don't leave the floor. He don't use his studs. Um, like I say, from maybe from the referee's angle, he's got a different angle to me. Um, I felt, for me, a good stay and talk and turn a yellow card would have been, you know, what we felt it should have been. So, but look, for their, for their group, look at that character. Pff, unbelievable. We've just been up to Oldham, up to Altrincham, three games in six days. We're out on our feet. We've only got 15 fit players. You know, we've got nine players in the, in, in the treatment room. The character we show there, pff, I tell you, that's a winning mentality. Talk about the mentality, uh, going down to 10 men in front of 3,000 fans here, it, it shows strong mentality to then go and almost immediately score the opener. And it was a great bit of skill from de Havilland to put it all through to Kanu. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, two special young players. Ryan's 21, Idris is 22. You know, Ryan, we, we moved him out of central midfield and put him out to the flank. Obviously, we moved Woodsy inside. This was a half time and great skill. You know, great kick by Laurie initially. Nicky's done well, sort of to pin the centre half and, and get him under the ball. Ryan's made a penetrating run, what I spoke about at half time, run forward without the ball. Great chop, and Idris is just on the back post and nod it in. But even before that, we had a great move. We created a 3v2, and Nicky's got in, and their goalie's made a Waldy. Unbelievable save. He's been outstanding, the goalkeeper, for them, I have to be honest with you. And, um, I'm delighted they didn't go the extra time, but I'm more delighted we're into the next round. You mentioned we're into this next round. We could pl go away to Accrington. What's your thoughts on the tie? Yeah, look, I would have liked the home tie, but that's that's the way it is. That's the way it goes. I won't think about this game now. I'll debrief this game uh, tomorrow. Um, I might watch it a little bit back tonight because the adrenaline's pumping. Because uh, I probably won't sleep. And then we move on to Torquay. One game at a time. That's all you can do in this business. Um, Torquay are a good side. Very, very experienced manager uh, in Gary. And it just shows you how relentless our division is. You know, there's just no easy games. And we'll look at Chelmsford, uh, sorry, we'll look at Accrington when that comes around. I don't even know when it is, actually. Uh, so, yeah, Saturday week. All right, Saturday week. Yeah, we'll look at that that week. Uh, I think we've got a County Cup game next Tuesday. So, some of the lads that come back from injury hopefully can get some minutes. Some of that need minutes to get some minutes. And we'll probably involve some of the U team as well. So, 
yeah, on to the next game. You mentioned three games in a week, one or three. Is the next we've got four days now before Torquay. Is it just about trying to get some rest into the legs? The lads will have two days off now. You know, uh, we've travelled so mammoth effort from all of us. Um, yeah, so they'll have a couple of days off, fully deserved, and then we got to get switched on on Thursday, focused, in play preparation for Torquay, restart preparation for Torquay on Friday, and that's what we got to do. We have got to keep rolling it out. So um, there's just no easy games and. Uh, we're looking forward to Saturday. We're looking forward to being back at home as well, back at the Hive, and hopefully you can have some more supporters there. Supporters were immense tonight, like they were. There's about 250. You said to me 182. I heard there was 250. Um, they were brilliant on Saturday, and once again, brilliant tonight. We gave them something to cheer about. I think we're giving them a team that they can be proud of, giving their all. And that's all you can ask of any man in life. And uh, we're a team that will continue to do that. Dean, congratulations, and thank you for your time. Cheers. Come on. Just